Hi, I'm excited to walk through Holy Week with you. That week that celebrates the life of Jesus, especially his death, and then at the end of it all as the culminating triumph, his resurrection. But all of that starts with Palm Sunday. It's the week before Easter. This year, March 27th and 28th, all of our regular worship services in both De Pere and Green Bay. It's the last time we see Jesus in triumph and glory with crowds around him shouting his praise, welcoming him as a triumphant king. Pretty soon, we'll see him as the suffering servant. But on Palm Sunday, we see something special. Looking forward to worshiping with you, celebrating with you, and rejoicing at the coming of our King. Hi, Brandon here, and during this midweek Lent season, we've been looking at toppling idols, taking those idols out of our hearts, toppling them at the foot of the cross, leaving them for Jesus. In a lot of ways, as we remove these idols from our hearts, our hearts could feel maybe a little bit empty. Jesus offers to fill our hearts with something very special. On his last meal with his disciples, Jesus gave a special gift to the church, a gift of himself in his own true body and blood given in the form of bread and wine. And on Monday Thursday, we celebrate the giving of that special meal. We do so as a body of believers gathered around the table of the Lord. I want to invite you to join us for our Monday Thursday service on April 1st. 12.30 p.m. at our Green Bay site and 6.30 p.m. at our De Pere site that service will also be streamed online. And if you're here with us, you'll have a chance to gather around the table of the Lord and receive Christ's true body and blood in the form of bread and wine. So we gather together as a body of believers and celebrate Holy Communion. Remember that Jesus is the one who fills our hearts. Good Friday. Why is it even called good? Is it a service that you avoid because maybe you think it's too gory? Can't handle the thought of it? Or is it a service that you look forward to? Would encourage you this Lent time, as we look ahead to Good Friday, to attend that service as we conclude with the theme of toppling idols. Good Friday is a service where we, we close that out. It's a service where we reflect on the passion of Jesus, the thorns, the way he suffered, but also the victory. It's not a service to leave you in shame. It's a service to reflect and leave with anticipation. Anticipation for Easter morning. Join me as we celebrate that victory Jesus won for us on the cross. Join me for Good Friday services, 12.30 p.m. at the De Pure campus, as well as 6.30 p.m. online and also in person at the De Pure campus. On Easter Sunday, be sure to be here to pick up the children's resource package that will be available for you to take home and have some fun activities to remember why we are celebrating this season. That package will also be available for download on our website. We have some great music prepared for Easter, both at the Green Bay and De Pere campuses. I will be highlighting the music that will be used at the Green Bay 10 a.m. service on our St. Mark Facebook page. Keep an eye out for it. It will help you prepare for the Easter service and give you something special to look forward to. It's not being a victim of crime, nor is it public speaking. It's not even the coronavirus. What people fear the most in life is death. That is unless you know who Jesus is, and that's what Easter is all about. The message that the grave could not hold Jesus, and therefore you need not fear death. For those that know Jesus, he's given them the power over death. And we'd like to share that message with you and your friends. So join us on the weekend of April 4th at one of our St. Mark campuses in Green Bay or, or De Pere for that message. We'll be offering that Easter message at our De Pere campus on Saturday the 3rd at 5 p.m. and also Sunday morning the 4th of April at 9 and 10.30 a.m. We'll be live streaming at 9 a.m. Or if you'd like to meet us at our Green Bay campus, check us out on Easter morning at 8 a.m. That's a traditional service and 10 a.m. Hey, God's blessings. The grave is empty. You too have conquered death because of Jesus.